Hey, Mortgage Coach community, Dave Savage here, and I am with Chris Haber. What's up, Chris? How you doing, Dave? Thanks I'm, for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here. So uh, I've been hearing great things about you from your peers. Uh, I think this interview came, I interviewed Giuseppe last week. And by the way, great interview. If you're watching this and you didn't watch that call with Giuseppe, one of the top 100 loan officers in the country, um, below. You're watching this from YouTube. There'll be a link to it below. Make sure you check it out. Um, Obviously, he's killing it, but he was saying, I need to interview you. He was saying, you are doing amazing things as mortgage coach. So uh, looking forward to hearing about it. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. Good. Well, if you could tell everybody what market you're in, a little bit about your mortgage practice, and then we'll get into your mortgage coach strategies. Sure. So I work at Hallmark uh, Mortgage here in Denver, been in the business seven years and six as a loan officer. I think this will be my sixth full year once it's over. And then last year I did 147 for 44 million. And then this year so far, I think I'm on about almost 45 for 17 million. So I think the numbers are down, but the volume's up. So I can't complain. Yeah. Well, hey, for someone who's been in the business five years, because you're going on your six. Yeah. And you're, I mean, bro, you are one of not just the top 1% in the country, you're like in the top half percent. So. That is an incredible success. Uh, you Thanks. know, there's a lot of millennials that would love, heck, there's a lot of loan officers, regardless of what age, that would love to have your success levels. So um, tell us a little bit about your mortgage coach story, because, you know, from what he told me, it, you went to the sales rally. I don't know if it was something I said, something Giuseppe said, but you, you came out of that last sales rally with a new commitment to mortgage coach. So. Tell us about that and then tell us what you're doing to get success. Yeah, so I had actually been using Mortgage Coach for a while. My boss, Dave Gallegos, he's been a proponent of yours since he started a long time or since you started the business. Um, and I just never used it. I just thought it was too hard and it was just too complicated and blah, blah, blah. And then I had a slow start to the year like everyone else. I had these big goals and I wasn't really doing it. And then we had our sales rally. You were there and I saw G talk about it. Mostly how people, you know, the extra value it showed and how, uh, you know, a lot of people didn't even talk about rate or cost because they were so blown away by the value provided. And I'm like, man, all right. And you were sitting, I think, in front of me or next to me. And I asked you after the meeting, I said, Dave, how many loan officers use this thing? And you were like, and I was expecting like a lot. And you're like, five, maybe 5%. And I'm like, well, how much in the top 1%? He's like, half. I'm like, all right. So <laughs> if the professional, the top 1% use it, like half the top 1% using it, all right, I got to start using it. So, so wait, wait, after that, <laughs> wait, I want to do a fact check. I said 34% of the top. Oh, yeah, you're right. I, okay. remember. I know. I just want to make sure I get it straight. And it, it is, depending on the state, anywhere from 4 to 7%. It's small. But anyway, I just want to make yeah. sure we got that fact check in there. Yeah, because I was looking at something to add value, and I just didn't want to do something that everyone's doing. And then when I, that's why I asked that question. I'm like, okay, wow. I can see the value. And if no one else is using it, or not many people are using it, it's, it's, this is, I, need it, I need to use it. Um, so after that, I just made a dedication myself. I was getting up early. I started reading the morning miracle anyway, and I started getting up early reading that book and then watching like an hour of all the videos from that you had recorded. I think like the top 10 or five from last year and then just all the tutorials and, and all that and just really started to be an expert at, at building these things. So, um, so yeah, that's how, that's what happened and <laughs> it's going well. I, I, I love it. So I want to make sure everybody caught that. So you have been listening to past interviews, it sounds like you listened to the, I think we have a playlist for the top of 19 of 2016. We also have a playlist for the top of 2017. Any particular standout is like the best interviews that were among your most favorite? Yeah, I actually have it pulled up on my other screen. So the one that I thought was like the, the biggest for me and I listened to it like three times was the Mortgage Coach scripts with Tim, uh, Jeremy, and Dandy. I don't want to butcher their last names, but I watched that one. Um, June 14th, 2016 was the date. So I literally watched it. I got the scripts, and I literally built like six pages of scripts what? to use. <laughs> so anywhere from Rate Shopper to my intake call to how to prospect realtors, like, yeah, six pages right here. So like I said, I really watched a lot of videos, and – just wanted to build scripts so I sound like a professional on the phone and with confidence. So, Well, congratulations. So, uh, by the way, everybody, I'm going to put a link to that video. It was the scripts call with Tim Brahim, Jeremy Forcier, and Danny Harani. 
Good job on avoiding saying their names. Uh, uh, but I will put that below in the description. Because, by the way, that was one of the, I mean, by everybody's measure, one of the top 10. But, you know, to me, there were really two calls last year that were just mind-blowing. Um, well, actually, there were like five calls. But that was, no doubt, one of my top two favorites. Um, okay. Now, what are, you, what are you doing with Mortgage Coach right now? When you think, okay, you, you've improved your scripts. You're having better conversations with both agents and buyers. When are you using Mortgage Coach in your sales process? And what kind of results are you getting from that? Yeah, so I'm still using like I did uh, after closing to create the annual uh, yearly follow-up. So I already have those built. Well, um, well, 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 time out. So after, like how many days from closing are you creating a Mortgage Coach report? Uh, well, in the past before I was using it, before the process starts, so after the process, I would create a, a mortgage coach after closing, do the payment reduction plan, and email it right away. That like, way, with, I've had within all a day. clients. Within a day? What's that? Within a day or within a week? Yeah, within within a few days. Okay, so within a few days of closing, you are sending a mortgage coach total cost analysis, showing a prepayment strategy, you know, just showing you, you know, that I'm managing your mortgage and I've got your best interest in mind. Okay. Yep. Now, how else are you using it? So then I'm using it now, like most people do at the beginning of the process. So I do like the, the goals call and the client, I call it the client intake call where I get, you know, income assets, employment credit, pull their credit, all that stuff, and just get a good idea of what their goals are. So I can put together 30 year fixed arms, all those different types of options that no one else is doing and just have a better conversation. So after I pull their credit, do the video within about, like it takes me about five, 10 minutes at the most to put those together and send it to the client and then have a follow-up call uh, the day of the, the, or two days later. And how often are you adding a video to the um, total cost analysis, the solutions for the family? Yeah, so like I said earlier, I wasn't I was kind of call, photo or video reluctant at first, but then I just got over that and now it's I do it every single time. It's, it's better than typing out a long email from Marie. It, the video is quick, it gets to the point, and, and people love it. And, uh, and then the, the video, how long are most of your videos? And are you recording them from your mobile phone or from your computer? I work at, home, at the office a lot, so I'm doing it from my, my desktop computer. Um, and it takes, I mean, it's about an hour, or sorry, a minute and a half, probably, roughly. Okay, so they're, they're quick, they're quick hits. And then what about, are you using the mobile app at all to update the total cost analysis? Are you doing anything with the mobile app as a user? Yeah, when I'm when I'm out, maybe at a closing or in a meeting or you know between meetings or something, and somebody emails me, I have updated the mortgage coach uh, analysis for a client or two from my app, and it works pretty well. It's pretty easy. Awesome. So, hey, hey bro, you are doing it really well, really smart. Um, now, do you have a team? Do you have an assistant, or are you doing all this production on your own? I do have one assistant, Annie. So she's been in the business about three and a half years. So just me and one other person. And who is doing the input of the total cost analysis? Are you dividing that up with her or are you doing that all yourself? She, she'll do it every now and then, but mostly me because I'm the one that's having the conversation with the goals. And it's just easier for me to just do it right away than kind of re relate to her the, the goals and the options I want to put together. So I am doing it 100% of the time. I love it. Well, hey, I always want to pull, try to get a script out of the call. So I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit. Uh, Sometimes, you know, you're asking the family questions and their goals, and then you're going to send them a total cost analysis. When they get that email, you want them to click on it. You want them to watch it. What does it sound like to the family that when you are teeing up the fact that there's going to be this link that they need to click on? What do you say to the borrower and the family so that when they get that email, they click on the link and they're excited about it? What does that sound like? Yeah, it's, it's, it's in my script here. So it's basically, you know, I'm going to send you... <laughs> Probably what either Jeremy or Danny use, honestly, is I'm going to send you a side-by-side -side comparison analysis of the two to four you know, best loan options I think make the most sense for you. So I'm going to send you a video. I want you to watch it. I want you guys to take notes. And then we're going to schedule a follow-up call either later today or the next couple of days to review those and really narrow it down to you know, one or two of the best options that make the most sense for you guys. I love that. So by the way, you said you watched that call like three times. You actually created scripts. Of the scripts that you pulled out of that, which scripts are the most valuable to you? Well, I've always had my own like intake form, so I just kind of tweaked it and added Mortgage Coach into the back of it to pretty much do what I just said. 
Uh, the, I feel like the rate shopper one is awesome. <laughs> it, it works really well, and I've created an email for it too. So I'll either I'll, you know I'll email them the kind of the the script, or I'll I'll you know use it on the phone. But yeah, give, it's, give, it's give me the just give us the just on the ref, re, on the rate shopper script. What's that sound like? Yeah, it's like one of them's like you know one of the things that differentiates differentiates me most from most lenders is that I use a you know a total cost analysis to show you potential thousands of dollars you can save in you know, the life of your loan. Has your lender provided you a total cost analysis? I mean, that's an easy one. And they're like, what? <laughs> What's that? So that's that's a quick to the point one uh, that, I, that I use a lot, so. Good, well, hey guys, we have got a couple scripts. If you liked this conversation with Chris, like it. So you're watching this from Facebook, give us a like and share it. Share it with other loan officers that you think would get value, that get inspiration. Here's a guy who's a millennial, five years in the business, 44 million in production, doing it all right. And kudos to you for getting up early, putting in an hour work of homework, checking out um, great interviews that we've done. It's not about me, it's about the people that I interview. And, uh, and let's face it, we have done some amazing interviews of some of the best, most successful people in this industry and outside this industry. You know. Uh, when I think of what it takes to get a family on the phone, uh, I don't know if you've watched it or not, but I interviewed Chris Smith uh, just a couple days ago. So I don't know, whenever you're watching this, uh, he's the author of The Conversion Code. Uh, highly recommend you check this out. It's just like 10 or 15 minutes. And it's just like, what do you have to do to get someone on the phone and into a quality conversation? I'm not gonna tell you what he says. Make sure you watch the video, put a link below. Um, and then, hey, Chris, one last request. Would you mind if you gave me a link to a total cost analysis so folks could get a feel for that? And then also, I would love a couple of your favorite scripts. You know, while they listen to this, I would love to put that in the description box below. So either, you know, forward me a document or forward me, you know, in an email, a couple of your favorite scripts, if you don't mind. Will do. All right. Hey, thank you for bringing all this value to the community, my friend. I look forward to the next conversation. You the man, Dave. Thanks a bunch. Appreciate it. You the man, brother.